What's going on guys, Jesse from Defense Mechanisms here, and today I want to go over kind of my battle belt setup, uh, constantly getting questions on social media, at classes of the different pouches that we're running and kind of the gear that we've got on our belt and why. Uh, so starting off here, we've got the unreleased mech battle belt, a uh, nice lightweight, rigid belt. Um, again, kind of your guys' sneak peek to this. Uh, starting off, I got my two pistol mag pouches. Uh, again, these are the three inch variety of our double pistol mag pouch. I like the three inch a little bit better than the four inch. Uh, again, I'm running kind of standard 18 round for uh, my 2011. Otherwise, Glock 17 mags on the regular. If you're running those extended mags like 21, stuff like that, then I definitely recommend bumping up to the four inch. Uh, moving on down the line, you'll notice that I've got a sticky rifle mag pouch. Uh, why I like the stiffy, sticky rifle mag pouch on my initial rifle mag pouch is, uh, again, allows me to throw on shotgun cards, uh, glow stick cards, things like that. Uh, simple reload for the shotgun. If you're breaching a lot of interior doors, you can simply just pull that off, slap it on the side of the shotgun, and you've got uh, more ammo there. Same thing with glow stick cards, you know, if your team's running different uh, glow sticks for different SOPs, uh, easy way to keep other colors kind of quick at hand. Uh, then I've just got a regular standard AR-15 mag pouch here in the rear. Underneath you'll notice that I've got the new dump pouch, so again that just deploys there. Uh, basically the same as our, stand, our old dump pouch. Uh, in that it can be atta attached via Molly or Molly Plus, but also then allows you to ride it uh, in the space under other pouches. So uh, super convenient, again, just stuffs back up in itself, little Velcro closure, uh, keeps it nice and streamlined. Moving on, you'll notice I've got this rear section here. Uh, obviously not as, uh, you know, tactically challenged here. So this is kind of right where my spine lies. I like to leave that area free and clear of anything. That way if I fall, slip, I'm not landing on something or directly on the spine. Uh, right off, you know, kind of, uh, I guess my like four o'clock position, I've got a breaching tool holder. Again, this allows us to run our collapsible hammers and prize. Just a simple carpenter's loop made out of uh, Cordura and Scuba, and just allows that to sit right in there. A real nice, easy method to carry your collapsible hammers and prize. Allows for quick access uh, and quick, you know, retaining of the tool. Next, we've got our uh, shotgun catch here. Again, this allows for just a breaching shotgun slide right in here, right up behind the pistol. Uh, it's got an extra level of retention to be able to hold that in there. Uh, hooked up to our breaching lanyard that'll be attached to the plate carrier. Then next up, we got the uh, True North uh, Concepts uh, holster adapter. I uh, really like this holster adapter. It keeps it a lot more low profile than like the UBL. Um, and then got the QLS system attached to that True North Concepts that allows, you know, again, easy access for all of your Safari Land or, uh, I mean, Blade Tech sells an adapter, so allows me to switch in between holsters really easily. Uh, then moving up uh, front, in front of that, I've got our uh, handcuff pouch here. Uh, again, sell that in a single or a double. Uh, this is the single version here. And uh, oh, I forgot to mention, attached to that uh, True North Concepts adapter, I've also got our leg strap. Again, just uh, keeps it from you know peeling up when uh, on the draw stroke. Some other things you'll notice here: I've got a couple of uh, GTSR buckles and a clash hook that just actually attach to uh, the Molly Plus belt loops. Again, um, you know we do sell these in an option that'll allow you to you know Velcro them on. I just found this to be a lot lower profile of an option. Uh, so again, first one, just a simple clash hook, uh, ran through our Molly Plus belt loop. That allows for Marcos, glow stick caddies, things like that, gloves, you know, I can attach them right there. Then you'll notice I have these GTSR clips, and what that allows me to do is, again, uh, just attach my gas mask carrier. So, it clicks in underneath there. That allows me to then carry the gas mask if I want to get rid of the bag, simply, uh, detach it there so that's basically it guys uh, it's kind of the, the belt set up you know, if you guys got any questions again feel free to reach out 
We sell a bunch of other pouches as well on the website if you want a radio or things like that, mounted belt line. Uh, again, I'm kind of kind of running out of real estate here, so that's what I've been running here lately. If you guys got any questions, feel free to reach out to us at contact at defensemechanisms.com. We'll catch you in the next one.